the champ is here. Here's your look at the FOCO WWE John Cena bobblehead. You can't see me, but you can see a whole collection of FOCO bobbleheads by finding your fanhood over at www.foco.com. A shout out thank you to the folks over at FOCO who are nice enough to send John Cena my way to have a look at. Before we have a in-depth look, a close-up look at John Cena, what we're going to do is first figure out how tall the bobblehead stands. And according to the Ultra Measuretron 5000, the bobblehead of the champ, not so much the champ now, but stands 7.9 inches in height, about 8, about eight inches in centimeters that works out to be let me go ahead and do that right now for you you're looking at a bubble head that stands 20.2 centimeters in height yes foco was nice enough to actually send over a bunch of wwe bobble heads and we're going to have a look at those in the upcoming reviews kind of a fitting time as well to be having a look at wwe bobble heads having just finished wrestlemania wrestlemania has come and gone Many titles have changed. John Cena was there, not necessarily looking like this. This is kind of one of his most recent looks, and it would be so very hard to pinpoint a distinct look for Mr. Cena, as his t-shirt and hat, and of course his sweat wristbands, are always changing in color and design. They opted to go with the green John Cena. There's been blues, there's been reds, there's been oranges, I'm trying to think of other colors, there's been purple, basically every color of the rainbow John Cena has had merch representing, representing uh, his, uh, his attire. So, uh, what we have here, actually this is a pretty cool looking setup I like, it's smaller, a smaller Titan Tron version of John Cena's and it's got respect there, him bench pressing X number of pounds, I can only imagine it'd be a, probably like 7,000 pounds. He's very strong. Uh, you can see he's coming down the rampway here, sporting John Cena there on the rampway. What I do really like about the stand itself is that it's fully finished. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You flip it around. On the back, it says, you can't see me, one of his trademark lines. I uh, really do like the fact that the display stand is fully polished, fully finished. And we've seen the FOCO releases before. Primarily on this channel, we've had a look at the Justice League, and I must admit, I'm actually digging the WWE ones. The likeness-wise, which we certainly will talk about, I think it's a little bit more accurate, a little more bang-on than some of the Justice pieces that we had a look at before. Just to also show you how John Cena pegs into place, basically when you get this guy out of packaging, his torso, his whole body, including his noggin, is one piece. You slide it through the provided hole on the bottom of the base, and then it comes with a, a washer and a nut. Just kind of turn it on there. Turn it on the screw. Once it's fit through, I rhymed and I knew it. Twist that on and then you've got John Cena in place. And what you do have in place is a pretty, again, nice little replica of John Cena. Probably gonna say John Cena a whole lot in this review. So let's have a look at some of the details on this figure. On the, fr on the front, we've got respect, hustle, loyalty, Respect. On the side, you can't see me. Nice texturing added, I must say, to the shorts. The t-shirt has kind of like a little grain effect happening there, and you see some natural wrinkles forming there. Very strong calf muscles, and John Cena's sneakers for the night. Uh, let's have a look at his head sculpt, which I actually really think is good. I mean, that's a decent-looking likeness of John Cena. It is a bobblehead, of course, so if you look deep inside the empty, hollowed cavity of John Cena's head, this will be the first time and only time you'd be able to do this, you'll see that there's a spring, a spring attaching the top of the neck to the ins inside cavity of the head. And of course, with that, you get the bobblehead action. Now these, by no means whatsoever, are these made of plastic. Uh, so you gotta be a little bit more careful of these. Uh, these are fantastic, like I said, uh, hand-painted, produced pieces. 
and uh, you can really see like the care and quality put into them. They are substantially a lot more heavier than some of the other plastic bobbleheads that we've looked at on this channel. Foco provides and produces a whole ton of various bobbleheads, ranging from sports, films, and uh, other collectibles, other really neat looking bobbleheads. Uh, like I would say, you would be doing yourself a service if you were to swing over to Foco's website and have a look at what they're what they're doing right now. Really do liking the coloring that they went with. Of all the various colors that, like I said, John Cena has had, they opted to go with the green. Could have also, I mean, really, if they were, if they wanted to run with this and smart enough, they could easily just take the same mold, certainly as John Cena has gone, gone over the years, the printing, I'm imagining, would just be a print over top of the mold. They could probably just simply change the colors out. And you could get the various different John Cena's. I don't even want to say over the years. It was more or less over the weeks. Every new week, he seemed to almost have a new colored shirt, hats, and sweaty wristbands. And if Foco wanted to do that, they could certainly release all the different John Cena's that have been released in various different rainbow colors. Foco produces a lot of sports memorabilia, but it wasn't until I checked out their bobbleheads that I realized the company does so much more than that. Of course, we've had a look at bobbleheads previously on this channel, but it's pretty neat now that they're doing WWE. A big thank you, by the way, for them for taking the time and sending John Cena and a couple of other samples my way. We're going to be having a look at them on this channel. Speaking of upcoming with the upcoming uh, airing of Game of Thrones, they've also done a whole bunch of Game of Thrones bobbleheads as well. Now, the really neat thing about these is you do feel like they're more premium pieces, something a little bit more care and detail were put into. John Cena looks really good. His head sculpt also looks like John Cena, as you would hope a bobblehead of John Cena would look like. I like the intricate display base that they've given him, and he's certainly packed full of colors. Colors of which, again, they could swap out and give us various variants of Mr. Cena for future releases. Again, if you guys are interested in checking out, possibly even picking up some of these for yourself, you can find your fanhood over at www.foco.com. That's F-O-C-O dot com. Today we were having a look at the Foco WWE John Cena bobblehead. Uh, if you guys also want to go back and have a look at some of my other Foco bobbleheads that I've done, there's a playlist for that. Also, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, if you haven't done so already, that is. Uh, certainly more videos and more bobblehead reviews will be coming soon, so stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.